hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this short training session I'm going to be covering a number of trading opportunities that have presented themselves on the ES 550 tick over the last couple of days and I want to cover some tips and ideas for you so this is a general public uh, recording some of my members or many of I've got hundreds of members around the world will probably also watch this uh, but as always uh, I won't go in too much in depth into some of the trade setups you get to learn those in the day traders fast track program but I promise to still give you some good stuff here so please watch uh, as we are going to be going to some charts I recommend you go to full screen so bottom right hand corner click on that and you'll be able to watch this in full screen we do need to uh, put up a risk disclaimer otherwise uh, the CFTC and the NFA might not be too happy with me so please understand the risk there is a risk in all forms of trading whether it be futures stocks uh, Forex or options so please don't trade with the rent money and please put perhaps put the video on the hold and read the disclaimer in full very very important I don't want to turn this recording into a advertisement but uh, please subscribe to but I will very quickly <laughs> so please subscribe to my youtube channel where you'll be able to be kept up with date to up to date with a lot of my recordings uh, and you'll be able to find out more about the day traders fast track program uh, once again this comes up every day uh, my indicators are included in the day traders fast track program and there is no upsell which means when you invest $197 you got lifetime access all of the setups the strategies the recordings and my indicators for trade station what have we got ninja trader most of the indicators now being done for think or swim etc uh, and mt4 and even if you uh, your charting package doesn't fall within those four I'll give you all the indicator settings anyway so please visit my website to find out more information but let's get into this uh, look this comes up all the time when traders watch me trade they you know they say well, look what sort of trader are you you sort of very quick you're in and out well look I like to believe traders and, and I am I'm a scalper that is I like to be in and out of my trades now some of those trades will go for seconds usually look it could be anywhere from five to ten minutes it's fairly typical with the type of trading that I do now being a day trader there is a slight difference that is with a day trader um, you can open a position in the morning close positions in the same session but I'm in and out and of course swing traders you're generally holding a trade overnight or for several days now there's a reason why I'm a scalper um, get in get out get paid there's always another trade so if I feel the market is turning against me and the more I reflect on this based upon uh, coaching with my members etc uh, you know I really realize that's my style and that's my personality now it doesn't suit everyone but you know I'm a momentum trader I like to see the market moving and if it slows down I usually will exit my trade if it's not happening the way I want it to happen that is we want the market to be moving I don't like range markets I like to see a trendy market and if I see a range I'll usually sit it out and wait for the um, uh, the next setup or the next trend to set up and we've got a, a number of ways that or a number of strategies that give us or tell us whether we're gonna whether let me start again we have a number of strategies that tell us are we in a trendy market or are we not now this comes up every single day from um, uh, from the general public particularly or new YouTube subscribers subscribers to my channel and why do I have so many setups well first of all I code all my setups so when you become a member you you get to learn what all these are and they're not as complicated like the t1 the t2 these are nearly all patterns and you know geometric patterns that appear in the market every day and visually you get to learn these very fairly quickly now the reason you have multiple setups is that uh, for an example in a strong trending day you want to be very very careful and extremely cautious of your counter trend trades and I'll show you what happened today we actually had towards the close of a market I got slammed on I had two losing trades trading uh, what I call the t3 and uh, in the end then I just jumped on the bandwagon and continued with the trend and sometimes you know you're gonna have losses because you don't 
no you could of course you're expected for t3 is going to work uh, but it fails it meets all the conditions but it failed that's trading traders but the thing is is to recognize that it's failed after a couple of trades okay we do have a strong trend and to trade with the trend so if you trade just one style of trading such as if you're a counter trend trader only you tend to get hammered because you know once again in strong trending uh, days 80% of the time uh, the, the trend continues when you get a trade set up so it's very very important that you have just like a carp that has different tools in his toolbox but you've got different uh, strategies for different market conditions that's really important now another thing that I'm really pushing home now to the members uh, to, to my members and also to the general public it's very very important to really be referring to your anchor chart what I call the AC or the high time frame chart and the EC which is the entry chart if there are at odds pass the trade as simple as that now in many of my videos I don't or I wouldn't refer to the anchor chart because I usually use my 200 EMA however more and more I'm discovering that um, uh, that really if you're fairly new or if trading hasn't been working out for you remember patience is so important use the anchor chart uh, that's just really really driven home to me how important the anchor chart is if you're not making money you got to remember I've been doing this for 20 odd years so it's easier and I you know once again you get to pick the patterns you get to you just recognize them but if trading is not profitable for you I want you to refer to an anchor chart which I'm about to show you how to quickly do that in a moment so let's go and have a look at the ES and by the way I'm going to be doing uh, one of these videos probably tomorrow or on Saturday uh, for those that trade um, oil the CL and I'll do one for the NQ as well once again I want to keep this fairly short so what we've got on the right hand side if you've just got two one or two screens perhaps um, you might want to do this so what I've got is a 550 tick here on the left and I've got a 1597 on the right so uh, 1597 is a fib number it's three times higher approximately than my entry chart my EC so the anchor chart three times higher now this is yesterday's price action so this is um, to be exact let me just pull the date up in case you want to refer to it so this is the 23rd of the 8th exchange time uh, now of course we're at the end of August 2016 uh, volume was very very low yesterday uh, being uh, a Wednesday we're at the end of August summer holidays etc in the US and volume is definitely affected now being Thursday we saw a real pickup uh, in volume today I think we topped about 1.4 1.5 million contracts yesterday if I'm correctly is about 900,000 but you can still get some great trading opportunities uh, if you're following the trend and how do you do that what you want to be doing is looking at what is happening with your anchor chart and what we can see here our EMAs it's very 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 obvious we're in a downtrend and you want to be following that downtrend now the action there by the way that was um, the close of the market and this here is um, about 10 a.m. so as you can see here on the anchor chart not a lot of action but what you can see is we're in a definite downtrend so this is where you really want to be um, looking at your entry chart what is happening there so let's now um, just for the sake of uh, the exercise here, I'm going to expand this so you can see it so what we've got here is um, lots of t7s it was a great day yesterday for t7s uh, we if you refer back to the anchor chart you could see the trend was starting down we had our classic t3 there so for those general public these are various setups now your t7s are your double tops or double bottoms and they work an absolute treat and remember your t7s with the trend are absolutely brilliant particularly when you've got divergence in the direction of a trend now if you refer back to your anchor chart you'll see we were in a downtrend so you've got a double top divergence all in the direction of the anchor chart which means ka -ching. this is where you can really make money I know of one particular trader in uh, in Europe 
all he does is trade T7s with the trend, which means he only gets two or three of these a day, but there are 90% trade with the trend. So very, very high probability. Once again, your pivot bounces. So when you get a, a T7 with the pivot bounce, as much as that was only good for five ticks, hey, um, you're going to get five four tick trades a day. Let me say that again, five four tick trades a day, you're netting about 220 a day per contract. And um, so your pivot bounces done correctly can be um, really good. Now, that's then we had another T7 with the trend. Thank you. We had then a great T3. What I'm just pointing out, traders, is that if you're just patient and just wait for these, look at this here another T7 with the trend. I didn't mark this up, but there was great divergence. Cha ching, cha ching. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're firing off and if we referred back let me mark this up for you let's refer back to the anchor chart look at this here what is the anchor chart telling us where I've got a great downtrend so you only want to be short that day let's fast forward um, because we don't have a lot more trades there to till or to today's price action so it's um, uh, early morning USA time now uh, but let's have a look we ended up having some really good volume once again great c3 pivot bounces now here if you looked at your higher time frame and why did I mark that up when I was trading I marked that up look at the high time frame well, let's go and have a look at why I suggested we do that oh, okay but the higher time frame was just telling me basically the same sort of thing that um, okay we've got uh, uh, classic t3 type formations there get ready to go short so I cover a lot more of this in the day traders fast track program but the point is here traders I really want to emphasize to use your anchor charts once again t7 divergence in what direction with the trend so follow those t7s with the trend okay t3s t3s uh, a nice little um, uh, t7 there uh, we had there and look at that look at my uh, platinum going up a double bottom very very nice now that was just a, a mini week t3 but if you had have looked at your anchor chart there you had a little bit of um, uh, t3 on the anchor chart t7 again with the trend thank you very much now what I want to do is scoot along here okay you've got your 89 B's you've got um, your t20s of course you've got a t20 really nice t3 but let's have a look what happened this afternoon and this is the, the, the reasoning here once again t7 thank you very much um, you had t3 you had a, a and by the way on the high time frame on the anchor chart uh, they have the same thing by the way traders you had a classic 200 B on the anchor chart with a small t3 and of course then we had a massive change in trend direction and this is the reasoning or this is the very reason why you need to be trading a number of um, uh, trading strategies that is if you insist on trading counter trend trades which is a t3 is uh, trade is very very important you jump on the trend and you recognize these All right we had a failed t3 now I took this one and I also took this one down here all right and I got stopped out on both of them but I jumped in on the trend and this is where even though we had classic angulation we had the bubble formation uh, we had um, uh, setups uh, beautiful on the looking good on the um, high time frame but the market uh, ended up really falling away and I ended up with five winning uh, trend trades so this is um, we had um, uh, t1 we had t1 and look at these two twos traders for my members you see two t2s and finally uh, okay we had a, another failed t3 and that's the problem with t3s with your t89s your t19s in a strong trend and this is why it's important that you um, learn to follow the market now let me just before we close off on this let's have a look at what was happening on the anchor chart all right and this is a very reason why and look at that once again the anchor chart was telling you as much as you had some t3 patterns but uh, it was just slamming down it was really going down so if you get stopped out and my rule is if I get stopped out 
two CT trades, counter trend trades. I'll stop trading those until I've got until I've got a whole brand new trend. Now, traders, 80% of the time when you expect the trend to uh, be finished or to not continue, guess what it does? It continues. You'll get a pullback, some profit taking. Be very careful of this time and time again it's very very easy to fall into the trap of believing that the trend cannot continue so traders oops let me just quickly turn that off so traders all of this of course I cover extensively in the day traders fast track program I don't want to give you a big sell go and get some information um, go and request my uh, ebook traders and uh, I look forward to seeing you as a member but also drop me an email if you've got any questions please go to my website and I'm also happy to have a Skype conversation if you're a, a new trader or perhaps you're a trader that's finding it tough please um, go to my website and request a, I'm happy to have a 20 minute chat to you on Skype so visit my website thank you very much traders I'll see you on the next recording